Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, Jets! It's the most wonderful time of, of the, the year. year. Hope you're all ready. Sammy Huan and Fu Wan show us how foreigners spend Christmas in Korea, and Yuna and Jasmine take us to two new restaurants near school. I'm Irene Choi, and I'm Christine Lee, reporting to you from Daegu International School. This, This is, is the Jet Stream. Jetstream. Thanks for tuning into the Jetstream. Hey Christine, have you ever spent Christmas abroad? Of course, I spent Christmas down under. I loved it, but I had some difficulties understanding the warm Christmas culture. Yas, I actually enjoy a cold Christmas. I wonder what foreigners think about Christmas in Korea. Let's find out. Today, we went downtown, where we tasted Starbucks's new limited edition winter coffees and sat down to chill out to the Christmas music. We went into H&M to try on festive clothes and to the Daiso to check out their holiday decorations. At the end of the day, we walked around some more and found a photo booth where we took pictures. The day was cold but fun and now we can't wait for Christmas. Hi guys. Hi guys! So we're here at the Exco and we're about to go to the Daegu Christmas Fair and take a look. Huge! So we're here at the Christmas Expo and we're walking around and there's tons of Christmas stuff and it's all great. Like, Christmas Expo. It was a lot of fun. It was very Christmassy. It was a lot of fun. Ah, oh, cool. I've lived here for almost 10 years, but didn't know that there was such much to do here at Christmas time. Same here. By the way, what is your favorite Christmas food, Christine? Chocolate cake is my all-time fave. I'm a big fan too, but I also love Korean food around Christmas. Is that weird? Oh, really? Nah, that's great. My fellow Try Girls, Yuna and Jasmine, will introduce you to a few Korean fusion restaurants in the area. Here's more. Hey, DIS, we're the Try Girls. Today, Jasmine and Yuna are going to review two new Korean restaurants here in Isiopolis. So first restaurant we've been to was placed in front of CGV named Hanki Masita, which was a Korean fusion restaurant. We ordered two foods, which were leek pork steak and crab cream carbonara. The pork was very soft and saucy. I was also able to taste some spiciness, which would fit perfectly to people who like spicy foods, like me. There was also a salad bowl that comes out with a steak, which had ricotta cheese on it. Then how was the cream pasta, Yuna? Well, if the pork was spicy and juicy, this cream pasta was very savory. I liked how they put the crab, a seafood kind. 
but compared to the pork steak, it was somehow too greasy, so I had to eat pasta with the pickles all the time. However, thinking of its price and the amount, I think both foods really worth the price. And it also has an event going on, which if you post a food picture on your Instagram or Facebook, they give you a thousand won discount. Then we went to the other restaurant called Kejong. This is place right beside Hanki Mashita, and they serve Korean traditional foods. I ordered kimchi budetjigae, the sausage stew that comes out with the rice as a set. I personally like every type of Korean soup, but like this one the best. Even though it was quite expensive, 9,000 won, its taste was worth the price. For Yuna, she ordered Korean-style raw beef bibimbap. Since many people were eating bibimbap, I ordered one too. After I tasted the first bite, I kind of knew why most people in Gaejeong were eating this bibimbap. Not lying, but because it was the best bibimbap I've ever tasted. The raw beef was very savory that went along well with the vegetables and rice. I don't know about the other menus, but I would definitely come at least twice in a month just to eat this bibimbap. So today, we have reviewed two new restaurants in Isiopolis. Well, Jasmine, what are you going to do during Christmas? I don't know. I might have dinner with my family, I guess. Then what about one of these two restaurants? It would be wonderful to spend time with family and have dinner at these great restaurants. I think that's a great idea. Well, DIS, don't forget to check out these two new restaurants just across the street. Have a great Christmas break. Bye! Mmm, yum! We're going there for Christmas for sure, Irene. Sounds perfect. This week was huge. Monday was NHD, Tuesday and Wednesday were the winter concerts, and on Friday, we have our last 2018 assembly. We're proud of all of you getting through first semester. Winter break starts tomorrow after school. We have a nice long three-week vacation, so get some well-deserved rest and have some fun. We hope all the DIS Jets can enjoy Christmas with the people they love. Happy early holidays! Don't forget to stay determined, intellectual, and successful. Merry Christmas!